Hi all and welcome back to Scala Collections. In our previous video, we have seen how we can evaluate a list using fold left to calculate the result. In this video, we'll try to we'll try to evaluate the list using reduce left. Reduce left is quite similar to fold left. Reduce left also starts evaluating the collection from left. But instead of starting with the initial value, reduce left starts with first two element of the collection. The result is then compared to third element and so on to yield the final result. As we have seen earlier with fold left, the expression gives you an immense power to evaluate the collection. Before starting uh, with an example, here is the syntax of reduce left. Similar to fold left, we have a result that would accumulate the result after every evaluation. Next, we have is the head of the list. And finally, we have the function that would be executed on both result and head to yield the final result. Let us quickly jump to Scala shell to see reduce left in action. As a custom, here is our small some example to illustrate the syntax of reduce left. Again, I'll declare a list with first five integers. Then I'll use reduce left on the list to calculate the sum. As we have seen, result will accumulate the sum and head is head of the list. And as expected, the final result is 15. Similar to our previous fold left video, here is a small animation to explain how reduce left works over the list to calculate the sum. You can notice how initial result is calculated from first two elements of the list and later on all the elements of the list are added to it. So reduce left seems pretty much similar to fold left. Now the question is, are there any differences between the two? Indeed, there are a couple of subtle differences between the two. These differences can help you spot which expression to use in your code. First difference is about the way both expressions perform calculation. As we have seen in our fold left example that we provide a default value for fold left examples. We have to be very careful while providing these default values. For example, if we are trying to multiply all the elements in a list and by mistake, if we provide the default value as zero, then the final result of our calculation will be zero. And that is not what we require, what we need. But in case of reduced left, Scala will take all the elements from the list and we do not have to worry about any default value. And here is an example. Second difference is the way both functional expression handle empty collection. Fold left will return a default value even when the list is empty. Let us quickly test that one on Scala Ripple. I have this empty list of integers and I will try to use fold left by providing a default value of zero and we'll get the result back as zero. But if we try the same using reduce left operation, we'll get unsupported operation exception. All right, so choose your operation carefully based on business requirement. In order to practice reduce left, you can also pick up fold left example from my previous video and try to convert it to reduce left by making even base salary as one of the components in the list. After the operation, you should get back the same result. That was all about fold left and reduce left. There are a couple of other operations that is fold right and reduce right. Fold left and reduce left evaluates the collection from the left whereas 
fold right and reduce right evaluates the collection from the right. Does that make any difference? In case of multiplication or addition, it does not matter because both multiplication and addition are associative. But consider a case of subtraction where it does matter what you want to achieve. So if we try to use reduce left along with subtraction on first three integers, the result is minus four. However, the subtractions along with reduce right would result in two. If you are not able to understand why that would happen, please pause the video and look at the far right hand side of the slide where I have written step by step evaluation of the list. All right, that was all about reducing a list to the final result. It is quite useful syntax when used along with map and filter to evaluate a collection. I think by now you understand the concepts of reduce and fold syntax. I hope I was able to make you guys comfortable with these complex yet powerful expressions. Let me know how are you doing with Scala in comment section. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Please post your comments and suggestions.